Hi, this is the first in a series of unit circle videos. Uh, the first one we're going to talk about degrees and radians. Um, we'll get into the trigonometry part in one of the uh, later videos. Uh, today we're just going to be talking about um, radians. So uh, let's first talk about the definition of a radian. So by definition, uh, one radian is the measure of the angle that subtends an arc that is congruent to the radius. Um, so what that means is that this angle theta here cuts off this part of our circle. And the measure of that arc is going to be equal to the radius. Um, and that's where you get one radian. So if we look at this a little bit closer, um, how many radians do we have in a circle? And we can look at this using that definition. Um, remember that arc length, um, you can figure out by, again, if you've got your circle, if you've got a circle here and you've got some angle theta, this angle theta divided by 360 gives you the fraction of that uh, circumference that we're talking about with our arc length. Remember circumference is defined as two pi r, um, and you'll see how that's related to radians soon, um, but we can do the same thing to figure out how many radians we have in a circle. So if we have one radian out of how many we don't know yet, so let's call it n, um, times 2 pi r, that's going to give us the arc length. So that's just one radian out of how many um, cuts the circle um, into the arc length. And by the definition of a radian, remember that the radian is equal to the radius. So dividing both sides by that radius, the radius goes away. We don't want the n in the denominator, so we multiply both sides by n. Um, and that tells us that 2 pi is going to be equal to n. And remember that n was the total number of radians in the circle. Now, what this gives us is a conversion factor. Um, so we know that 2 pi radians is going to be equal to 360 degrees. So we get 2 pi over 360, which we can simplify to pi over 180. Or we can do it the other way around, depending on what it is you're trying to convert. My conversion factor would be 360 over 2 pi or 180 over pi. So if we get something like um, 20 degrees, we want to know what is this in radians. Um, remember that we can multiply it by pi radians over 180 degrees, and then we can cancel what we can. Um, we know that the zeros go um, 2 and 18 can become 1 and 9. And what that gives us is pi over 9 radians. Um, we're going to first look at quadrantal angles. So why don't we do this again with 90 degrees? So 90 degrees uh, times my conversion factor of pi over 180. Again, the degrees go, the zeros go, the 9 and the 18 become pi over 2. Now we can look at the entire circle um, and define our values from here. So quadrantal angles are the angles at the 0. Oops, let's try that again. At the 0, the 90. 180 and 270. 
Remember, one full time around the circle is 360. So if we were to turn this into radians, remember that one uh, time around the circle was equal to 2 pi. So the whole circle would be 2 pi radians. But then you can look at the circle and the fractions thereof. So if we look at the x and y axis, um, remember that my conversion factor was pi was equal to 180. So at this 180 degrees, you can also see that it's half of a full circle. So half of a full circle, half of 2 pi would be equal to pi. 90 degrees is half of that 180. So half of pi would be pi over 2. And then you can just count 1 pi over 2, 2 pi over 2. This would make this one 3 pi over 2. And there you have your quadrantal angles. We can look at the 45 degree increments. There we go, 45 degree increments. Um, there are my 45 degree increments. Just so you can see a little bit better, you can see here that, that what you have from zero to pi are four equal sections. Um, so we can break this into zero, here's 180. We know that this was zero and this was pi. So if we've got four equal sections, then we would have at 45 degrees, we would have pi over four. So that's one pi over four. This would be two pi over four, which we can simplify to pi over two, which we already knew because we talked about the quadrantal angles. So one pi over four, two pi over four. Here would be three pi over four. And that was our 135. We can keep going around the circle. Um, so 180 plus 440, sorry, plus 45 <laughs> degrees would give me 270 here, um, 315 here. Um, we've got 45, so that makes that 225 here. So if we keep counting around, 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, that would make this one 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, which we already know is 3 pi over 2, and then 7 pi over 4, and then 8 pi over 4, which again is 2 pi. And those are our 300, and, I mean, those are our 45 degree angles. We also have our 30 degree increments. So looking at our 30 degree increments, again, we can see them as, we can count them one, two, three, four, five, six equal sections in one pi uh, because we've got We've got 0 to 180, which is 0 to pi, and then 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, 120, 150, and 180. So again, those are six sections. So we can have pi over 6. This would be 2 pi over 6 which is pi over 3, um, 3 pi over 6, which is pi over 2, 4 pi over 6, which gives you 2 pi over 3, 5 pi over 6, and then 6 pi over 6. We can keep going. So this is 7 pi over 6. 8 pi over 6, which is 4 pi over 3. 
Um, 9 pi over 6, we already know is 3 pi over 2. We're at 10 pi over 6, which is 5 pi over 3. And then 11 pi over 6. 12 pi over 6 again gives me 2 pi. And that gives me my 30, 60, 90 increments. So that's how you can derive it. Um, it's better to know where they're coming from than just to flat out memorize everything um, so that you can derive and understand why it's in each particular quadrant. Um, so let's go through the whole thing one more time and we'll derive the whole thing here. So we've got our, our degree measures in here. We'll put in our quadrantal angles. So we know we've got zero. One full, one full circle was our two pi. Half of that gives me pi and half of pi gives me pi over two. Counting, we've got zero, one pi over two, two pi over two, three pi over two, four pi over two gets us back to two pi. So looking at our 45 degree angles, remember those are the quarter sections. So that would be pi over four, two pi over four, three pi over four, four pi over four, five pi over four, six pi over four, seven pi over four, and eight pi over four finishes the circle. We can go back and do our 30, 60, 90 degrees. So again, those are the six sections. So this would be pi over six, two pi over six, which simplifies to pi over three, three pi over six, which gives us our pi over two, four pi over six, which is two pi over three, five pi over six, and six pi over six, seven pi over six. We've got eight pi over six, which is four pi over three. 9 pi over 6 gives me 3 pi over 2. 10 pi over 6, which is 5 pi over 3. And finally, 11 pi over 6. So um, now I said that it's, it's not great to memorize. Um, but the more you use it, the more it's going to be um, easily retrievable. Um, until then, understand the uh, connection to pi. So half the circle is pi, and you can uh, break them into fractions. Just like you learned in, in third grade, fourth grade, what fractions were by looking at sections of a pi. So they can figure out your four, oops, there we go. So you can just use it like, like fractions. We'll get into uh, the special triangles, uh, 30, 60, 90, and 45, 45, 90, um, as it refers, as, it, as it's used in the unit circle in a later video.